to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. performance and now here comes the response watering game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well on the face of it Peter we would appear to have a high caliber meeting with very little at stake but then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in and this becomes a big incentive it changes the dynamic so there's plenty at stake for them which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest And we're underway. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, I'm Eric Laporte. He's a centre-back who's one of the best in the business when it comes to, to playing out from defence. He can spark quick counter-attacks or, or put his foot on the ball and, and retain it when a breather is needed. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. And here's Morata. Raspilicueta, Ferran Torres, Raspilicueta. Jorginho, Marco Verratti, just brushed off the ball there, Koke plays it forward. It's a brilliant interception. Spain are working the ball as only they can. Yeah, Peter, and it's a style that requires players of high-caliber technique to move the ball about quickly in tight areas. And it's Jorginho. Jorginho. Ferran Torres. Floats one over. Bonucci gets it away. Koke plays it short. Gorgeous control there. Chance to cross here. Chiellini with the clearance. Immobile. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Jordi Alba goes looking. Olmo. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one.
Barrera. Now it's Insignia. Insignia with a delicate ball. Has a pop! Lorenzo. And they've been caught out here. As Plequeta drives it forward. Laporte. Spinazzola gets into the right position to intercept. Deep Lorenzo. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Keeper sends it forward. Ferretti. Now it's Immobile. Over to the left. Chip through. Immobile goes for goal. As Plequeta tries to get it forward quickly. Ferran Torres. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How would you review the first half? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. Already up and running for the second half. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Morata pings it out wide. Spinazzola. And it's Insigne. In with the challenge, Sergio Busquets, Laporte, forward it goes, Olmo tries lifting it over, it's a promising ball, oh well defended, that had to be done, and the finish, back of the net, and that is the goal we've all been yearning for. Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Spain take the lead, 1-0. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. <laughs> Bonucci. And it's played forward. Breaks on here. Morata plays it out to the wing, dinks one in. Ferran Torres, Thiago, keeps everyone guessing. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Oh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Torres. And it's Koke. And here's Immobile. Barrera. He's in, surely. Shoots.
Italy are definitely going about this the right way. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Looks to thread it through. Italy are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. They're shapes to shoot! He scores! Well, it certainly livened things up a bit, and that next goal now is absolutely crucial. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before, and no doubt they'll work it again. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, extra time looms now, but that leveller creates great impetus and they've got to fancy their chances of pinching victory from what looked like the jaws of defeat. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Immobile is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and as their most significant attacker, he isn't about to receive any generous invitations. Clears it out of harm's way. Timely intervention. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here although there's still a chance for one last fling great strength too strong for his opponent it is going to need 30 more minutes no winner after 90 well i don't think either manager can have any complaints really because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal and it always lacked that spark so to clarify, extra time will follow. Into extra time we go. Italy did fantastically well to force extra time, having been on the brink of defeat in normal time. In fact, you could say they're the better off of the two teams, at least psychologically. Could be thinking about a shot here. Going for goal! Jorginho. Chiellini, Barrera, Di Lorenzo, Chiesa, tries to stroke it through, throw it. And it's Insigne. Marco Verratti. Jorginho. Extra time reaches half-time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. And we're off for the final time. This really has been thrilling. Both sides going at it, and now for the final act. Chiesa. Chiesa drives it forward. And that is as far as they're going to go. It's come through. Hoists it forward. It's a chance for Spain to break. He's got options out wide. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. He gets past his man. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Chiellini can get it clear. 
They are right into last chance territory. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Jordi Alba gets it out to the wing. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Immobile tries to dink it in. Well, both sides. The final whistle and confirmation we are headed for penalties. Look, I've been in this position myself, and after a grueling game, you don't want to back down if the manager asks you to take a penalty for fear of appearing weak. Uh, you can't let fatigue cloud your judgment. The referee has ended the second half of extra time. All square. Some weary legs out there, so who has it left in them to take a penalty? So, the first penalty. And he's found the net. Brilliantly done. Never took his eye off the keeper, either. Olmo, with eyes on the prize. Cooley done, one each. He just did what he was asked. Chiesa is second man up. Keepers read that beautifully. Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. Ferran Torres is the man who's second in line. Oh, good take. Keeper committed himself. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver from one behind and the keepers come up trumps that's a lovely stop from the keeper he's done his teammates proud with that one no it's been saved i think the keeper's done really well to save that he deserves a pat on the back from his teammates oh the keeper could have stood still and stopped it well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Oh, what a save! Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and makes such a great save. Barrera is the last of five scheduled takers. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Spain at the point of no return. And scores to keep them alive. 3-3. Three, three. And now we're into the realms of sudden death. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Spain have to score or they have had it. It's in. He's kept them in it. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed the keeper. Spinazzola is next on this now extended list. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. Saved it! And that's won it! Italy taken all the way, they found the way from the spot and they have won it. A win in the most thrilling fashion. Well, it's been such a long match and the penalty shootout is all.